Hey guys, Adam Fenna here with Fenna Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. Hey, what I've got here is a Raven 440. Really common controller that a lot of you guys are using today. And I've got a lot of customers that are getting out those anhydrous bars, doing some pre-plant, uh, getting things ready in the next few weeks. And these Raven 440s are a huge component of that. And I'm getting a lot of questions about them, how to set them up, why this isn't working. I'm gonna do a quick video here, run through the 440, hopefully help you guys out and get you rolling faster. Stay tuned. Here, master power right here. So um, the first thing I wanna to talk to you guys about here quickly is the, is the actual speed sensor type of it. Um, speed is gonna be your, your first hiccup or the first thing that, that typically kind of screws up on these is your GPS speed. What I've got in my hand is a uh, MicroTrack Garmin Astro Speed Sensor. Plugs into the back of the Raven 440 right there. It's a very, very good and efficient way to get your speed. If for some reason your radar on your tractor is not working, I highly suggest having one of these on the shelf. They're very, very simple to use and fairly inexpensive. The first thing that everyone has troubles with when they first get out their 440, it's not reading speed. So that's the first thing I wanted to touch on. So to reset these, let's say that, that you have a brand new toolbar or something. What I want you to do is hold down the CE button and power it on. What that is gonna do, that is actually gonna erase all of the previous settings, which is not the end of the world because we can go through there and get them. So first off, we have, this is the backside of the Raven 440. That's what happens when you hold clear and turn it on. So US volume per acre. Yes, that's what we want. The enter button is basically the yes button on these. So we hit yes. So our speed, SP, are we doing wheel drive or are we doing radar? The CE button right here scrolls between the two. In this case, I'm using my Garmin, so that's a radar. We're gonna hit enter to say yes, radar. Now, what kind of valve am I using? Am I using a standard valve, a fast valve, or a close fast close valve? Now, that is going to be determined on if your valve is separate from your section valves. If your control valve is also your on-off, then you're going to be a either fast valve or fast close valve, depending on how it's set up. PWM valve, you're not likely to use that one on an anhydrous bar. It could be a standard. Standard is very common on liquid setups. So choose your valve type and what you're using and then hit enter, which would be yes. So now self-test shows up. So we've got the backside basics, the language, the, the units, what type of valve and how our speed is going to be controlled. We've got all that tackled. Now we start over here on the left, boom cow number one. So if you've got a 40 foot toolbar and uh, you're going to be just running that in let's say one section, let's say actually we're doing two sections. So let's just say my boom one, we have to hit enter before we push anything in, it's zero. If I just hit two, three, it's gonna keep scrolling. You have to hit one, enter, and then type in how wide it is. So let's say, that it's 20 feet wide. On my first boom, hit enter. Now I go on to my second boom, I have to hit enter 20 feet again. So let this toolbar that I'm doing has got two sections. The third one's off because the third one is going to be zero. It's two sections, each one is 20. I'm sorry, I screwed that up. This is actually in inches. So we need to take uh, 20 times 12. So it needs to be 240. This is always in inches, not feet, guys. Keep that in mind, it's easy to forget. So now zero inches for boom cow three. We go over to speed cow, and that is actually located here in this instruction manual for my micro track controller. I look right here, Raven 440, 460, my speed cow needs to be 783. Enter. 783. That is how many pulses that that GPS sensor is, is sending in an X amount of time. 
If you're using a radar, that number could be very different from that. But for this MicroTrack Astro, it's 783. We go over to meter cal. This is the pulses of your flow meter that equal one gallon. Each one's going to be different. You need to walk back to your flow meter, and there is a tag on your flow meter that's going to give you this number. I'm just going to punch in a dummy number here. Hit enter, 750. That's likely not going to be correct, but it, read it on your own valve. Rate one cow. I'm sorry, we skip valve cow. We move on to valve cow. Um, meter cow was 750. Enter. Valve cow. Again, this is, there's a sticker on your valve. You read this off of your toolbar. Look back at it. Let's say it is 750. Hit enter. 750. Enter again. We move on to rate one. Let's say we want our rate one to be 150. 1500. Zero, zero. There's a decimal in there. Don't forget that. Hit enter. Rate two. 190. Enter. What this does is right here, you can toggle between rate one, rate two, and manual. As you're going through the field, your rate one is whatever you punch in. We punched in 150. If then we want to jump up to our second rate, which is 190, it will instantly do that when you go from rate one to rate two on the fly. So that's handy. Now we're done setting everything up. We're ready to go put on anhydrous. I typically come down here to my speed and it's at zero. And before I do anything, I drive ahead a hundred yards and make sure that the speed right here is matching the speed on my gauge on my tractor. That tells me that my speed is working that I've got hooked up. That is, that is trouble number one. As soon as you get done setting all this up, come down here to speed, and that number should match what's on your tractor. So basically, what is always gonna be showing in the left corner is your rate, and then over here on the right, you can change what you want to show. You can have it tell you the field volume, the field area that you've covered, the total area that you've covered for the day. I always keep it on speed. So my rate and my speed is always displayed when I'm out in the field. Okay, so I've got boom two and boom one and two both on. My power's on. I'm ready to go apply anhydrous. I'm in the field, got my toolbar down. It's time to go. Turn my master on, but nothing's happening. So it sets off an alarm because there was no rate applied. After five seconds of no rate applied, this turns on, the noise turns on, turn it back off. And so basically as you're going through the field, you can increase, decrease your rate, but that's the gist of the Raven 440. Um, that's how you do everything, how you set it all up. This is all preset. Now keep in mind to change any of this, you have to hit enter, type in your number, and then enter again to change it. So that's what we're doing today, running through the Raven 440 and how it works. If you have any questions, give Fennig Equipment a call uh, or shoot us a text. Call us at 419-953-8500. Thanks for tuning in.